Howdy people, it's Brian from iSpring. In this tutorial, we're going to cover some basic settings that'll help you manage iSpring Learn LMS to serve you most effectively. Hmm, let's see, main settings, where would that be? Oh yeah, maybe settings. Okay, up here at the top we have our account name and URL, and we can also add domain aliases if we want, which is actually covered in another tutorial. Now, scrolling down here, we can see a bunch more options. Right here, you can choose whether to have your users log in with an email or with a username. Some people might not want to type in their whole email address, and some email addresses might make it hard to identify learners, so it's probably easier for you to manage logins by unique username. Over here, you can choose whether to include full user profile data when you generate reports in CSV or XML formats, and you can also show the version of the content in reports to help you make sure you're always using updated material. If you want to force your users to enter strong passwords, check this option. And this option is handy if you want to delete a bunch of users in bulk by re-importing an edited CSV or Excel spreadsheet. Also, you can include terms and conditions for your users to access your content, which is particularly useful if you're selling it through e-commerce. Here you can change the time zone to match your location, and if you like, you can force secure HTTPS connections when users open your portal. And that about covers it. Thanks for watching. Now you should have a handle on the basic settings so you can manage your LMS just the way you want. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.